Brazil coach Tite reunites with a Palestinian fan who helped him in the time of need. Group stage action is rapidly coming to an end as the round of 16 starts taking shape. Qatar's business will not be affected by politics according to Qatar Energy CEO. And finally, everything related to the World Cup is right here. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Hussam Safarini, that is the name of the man that Brazil's coach Tite has been on the lookout for for the past week. The Arab superhero Hussam Safarini was caught on camera offering a woman to carry her sleeping child at a packed metro station after Brazil's 2-0 win over Serbia. At the time, Safarini had no clue that the child turned out to be Tite's grandson. Tite invited Safarini to one of Brazil's training sessions, fulfilling his dreams while also giving him a Brazil football t-shirt signed by the entire 26-man squad. As we edge closer to the end of the group stage, of the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar, the round of 16 has started to take shape. Group A winners the Netherlands will face Group B runners-up the USA on Saturday, with Group B winners England taking on Group A runners-up and African champions Senegal. In Groups C and D, defending world champions France top their group and will face Poland who finished behind Argentina. Copa America champions Argentina themselves are set to battle it out with Australia in the first knockout stage. Now, Qatar Energy CEO Saad Sharida Al Kaabi has stated that business the Gulf state does will not be affected by politics. According to al Kabi, Qatar will continue to do business as long as it's beneficial to both the buyer and seller. This comes after Qatar Energy signed a deal with multiple German firms to start supplying liquefied natural gas to the European nation for 15 years, starting from 2026. The signing comes after Germany has been a major critic of Qatar hosting the World Cup. And in today's World Cup review and preview, Group C and D were decided on Wednesday evening. Heartbreak for Tunisia as they overcame world champions France 1-0 but were pipped to second place by Australia, who achieved a shock win over Denmark with the same scoreline. Over in Group D, Saudi Arabia kissed the World Cup goodbye after losing 2-1 to a Mexico side, who despite their win, crashed out on goal difference to Poland. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website, www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.